Kitisa Shishi. In this section, the Torah discusses the conditions Hashem makes with Moshe Rabbeinu while forging this new covenant between him and Bnei Israel. Firstly, he reminds Bnei Israel that they are not allowed to forge any covenant with any of the inhabitants of the land of Israel. Then he prohibits them to worship any form of idols when they come to the land of Israel and also have a mitzvah to eradicate any idol worship or idols that are in the land of Israel. Next, they must observe the Shabbat and all the holidays, including the mitzvah of pilgrimage to go to the Beit HaMikdash for the holidays. Then he tells them they have to be sure to redeem all firstborn animals and their firstborn children. Then there are some specific laws regarding the Passover sacrifice. And also he tells them that they are to observe the halacha of not eating meat and milk. Rashi over here comments and mentions that the prohibition of cooking meat and milk are brought down three times in our Torah. The first time in Parashat Mishpatim, second time in this week's Torah portion, and the third time in Parashat Re'eh. Rashi says, what's the need for this redundancy and being repeated so many times? Answers Rashi that the three times are to teach us the three different prohibitions of when it comes to meat and milk. Number one, eating meat and milk is prohibited, cooking meat and milk is prohibited, and enjoying or taking benefit from meat and milk is prohibited, each one in and of itself. And that's why it was repeated three times over. Chazal asks, why is it that Hashem is repeating these mitzvot specifically to Bnei Israel right now? Weren't all of these commanded anyways in Parashat Mishpatim? And the answer is yes, they were. However, the Jewish people worshipped the golden calf. They damaged their relationship with Hashem. And then finally Hashem accepted to, to take the Jewish people back and forgive them. So while He took them back as His chosen nation, Hashem is renewing some of the most basic and important laws along with the holidays in order to bring Bnei Israel back into a close relationship with Him.